of fanatics, crazy Russian dead, they want to talk about this ban of the Russian athletes in the upcoming Olympics. The news was swirling now for weeks, but I somehow didn't really pay attention. And now I understand that many athletes are banned. I just feel bad. I feel bad for the athletes. I mean, I don't know if those doping allegations and wide scale and widespread and all these fancy words, I don't know if it's true. But I do know that for many of these athletes, like, how many times do you get to compete in the Olympic Games in your life? Like, once if you're lucky, if you're that good. Certain sports, certainly only once, maybe twice. But, like, that's a, that's a dream. Okay, it's getting killed for many of these athletes. Sports are very political, by the way. They have always been, so I feel bad. I really feel bad for those poor athletes. and They always get caught in the middle. In the olden days, I'll tell you a personal story, in the olden days in the Soviet Union, you know, when I was like 17, I had a very good friend, he was a weightlifter, you know, like heavy athletics, as it's called in Russian, тяжелый athletic. He was very gifted, he was strong, and he was, I think, ranked in the city, or maybe regional, and he was serious, he was like twice as wide as me. By the way, twice as wide as I was then, I'm, I'm, I was more narrow. And then I haven't seen him for like maybe six months and then he comes back, we meet and then he literally, literally shrunk to like normal size practically and I'm like, what happened? Yura, that's his name, Yuri. He's like, well, I basically, in order to get to the next level to compete in the nationals, the coaches or whoever, I don't know, basically kind of explained to him the deal that he needed to take all kinds of pills and steroids and all that stuff. And he said, no, I'm not doing that. Or maybe his parents decided that he wasn't going any anymore. So so it was pretty scary stuff. Uh, I don't know if they, if they do that anymore, uh, okay? I, I I hope not, I hope not. What I do know is like, it's such a huge honor to compete in the Olympics, you know, to represent one's country. And now a bunch of these Russian athletes will not get to compete. They are representing their country. So what if their country lets them down? Huh? They're still ambassadors. We don't shoot the ambassadors from bad countries like in the United Nations. You still get to represent your country and explain the, I don't know, the atrocities and whatever else. So why are these sports ambassadors banned? Things are just complicated and I just, I hate that. Like it should be much simpler. It's the same with FIFA. Like what is this? They're taking bribes, not bribes, they're taking bribes you know, to decide where to go, it's just the world, the world is mad, okay, and I feel bad for the little guy, I feel bad for somebody who trained for like years and they won't be able to now compete, okay, so I don't know, if it were up to me, which it's not up to me, I would let them compete, I would work with whatever, I think these boring officials should work with those boring officials, but let the athletes compete, okay, anyhow, that's my maybe naive and idealistic message. I don't know the facts. I'm sure haters will tell me that I'm definitely an, an idiot. But that's my story and I'm sticking to it. Good night.